Okay, B is for black pepper. Um, when I think of black pepper, I think of food. I think steak with cracked pepper, I think stews, and I just get hungry. But um, when I bought this, I thought, oh, this is going to be a boring oil. But doing the A to Z and looking into it, this actually is really interesting, this essential oil. It has a lot of medical purposes, a lot of medicinal qualities. So the first one being, because it's a heating and a warming oil, it's good for circulation. Um, I've sometimes had some white spots on the bottom of my legs and sometimes in the palm of my hands, and I've rubbed them and they've temporarily gone away, but this one, apparently you rub it into the area, it's really good for circulation, so I'm gonna give that a go. Uh, it's a good one for relieving aches and pains, so any muscle issues, tension, um, any tendonitis, arthritis, um, rheumatism, things like that. Um, I put it topically, directly on the area and on the soles of your feet. Lowering cholesterol, I'd add it to your food for that, and on the soles of the feet. Um, it's good for oxidative reasons, so seasonal threats, colds, flus, immune system. I would diffuse it if you can put up with the smell. I don't think it's too bad, I tried it. Um, it's not as nice as the citrusy ones, but I'd probably blend it with cardamom, clove, juniper berry, something like that, um, and on the soles of the feet. Uh, research has come out that this is a good anti-cancer one, so for um, suppressing the proliferation of cancer. This is a good one, I'd diffuse it, I'd put it on the soles of my feet, probably if I needed to, I'd put it on my tongue. Um, this one, they have done a lot of research around that, so more and more is coming out, which is a good thing. Um, Flavouring food, as I said, stews. Um, making homemade chocolate, so lime and black pepper, orange and black pepper chocolate. Um, yeah, when I bought this, I thought, boring, but I think it's actually really interesting. In Ayurveda, they have Ayurvedic medicine, they have um, a lot of belief around herbs and spices as being nature's medicine, so it's really interesting. Um, black pepper, out of my Emotions and Essential Oils book that I love, it is the oil of unmasking. So basically it says when we're kids, um, we've been taught that some feelings are good and some feelings are bad. So, and feelings are meaning behaviours, you know, if we're sad or angry, that can be seen as bad. If we're happy and cheerful, that's good. But... Um, Instead of looking at these feelings or behaviours as inappropriate and being judged and condemned because of them, black pepper brings them to surface and helps us unmask and be our true authentic selves. So black pepper, interesting. I thought it was going to be really boring, but um, now from looking into it, I think it's quite an interesting one. So have a lovely day. Any questions, message me or ask. If you're around me, I can give you samples. I won't be posting them at this stage, but if I, if I am around you and see you, please feel free to ask. Apart from that, have a lovely day. See ya.